Welcome back to the webinar series on planning for community food systems, opportunity, innovation, and equity in the global south. The first webinar series gave a broad overview of planning for community food systems. Today, in webinar number two, we will go into a deeper dive with our first case study. Webinar number two will be presented shortly by Dr. Amani Oshimo, who will be presenting on insights from Clarendon, Jamaica. Good morning. My name is uh, Amani Shemo. I'm a faculty member at, at, at the University of Technology, the faculty of the built environment. Um, I'm great, very grateful for the invitation of being accorded to me by Professor Samina Raja of the University of Buffalo, this initiative of the planning for community food systems. It, it is very real. It's the Nihana for me and for the university. So I'm not taking this matter very simple. Now I'll begin my, my present the presentation by just going through quickly the sequence of, of, of approach. I'll start by overviewing the Clarendon Parish and then the local government structure, policy initiatives, strengthen the food systems, then the community driven initiatives for, strength, for strengthening the food system. Then I'll go to the challenges and finally lessons and the opportunities for transformation. The setting of of Clarendon. Why, why Clarendon? Why did we choose Clarendon? First of all, Clarendon is a, a representation of the island as a whole in terms of food systems. Many of the physiographic characteristics and physiographic characteristics found elsewhere on the island are represented in this parish. So, in other words, Clarendon is a, a microcosm of what is happening in other parts of Jamaica in terms of food systems. It also, Clarendon also offers abundant opportunity in terms of innovation, equity through its urban to rural linkages in the food system. This is also a place where local government, local government planners have shown leadership in the, sustainab in the sustainability of, um, of, of, of planning. Now, this image, the map of Jamaica, with different uh, magnitude of, of, of centers, demonstrates how the importance of, of centers really uh, in, connect, uh, in relationship to, 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 the, to, to the rural sector or the periphery. Uh, centers have a, a, a tremendous role to play uh, in terms of um, disseminating what? modernization in terms of uh, being ready markets for agricultural produces and also for <clears throat> modernization the, modernizing the particularly the agricultural sector um, we can see that there are several magnitudes of centers starting with the, the largest centers like Kingston and also regional centers particularly those parish capitals and um, sub-centers of medium sizes, and also going down up to small villages. So all of these are interconnected, and therefore they play a major role uh, in terms of uh, reducing remoteness of the, of the rural areas, and uh, in, by implication, um, stimulating uh, the agricultural sector. Now we have taken this case study, the, the, the parish of Clarendon. As I said, it is a microcosm of what is happening direct to the rest of the island. And uh, as you can see here, um, towards the north, north, the northern part is mainly hilly, and the, that's where the, 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 the largest concentration of of small farmers, and uh, in the middle part, you can, which is with the with a symbol of um, L, that is a limestone plateau, and then A, that is an alluvial plain, which is basically um, <clears throat> comprises many of large farmers, 
particularly the plantations in terms of um, what uh, sugar plantation. I think we have money mask sugar plantation there. And uh, so essentially this tells the tale of uh, kind of disparity in terms of land allocation to, 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 ag to agriculture. Where small farmers, historically basically, and if you follow the history of Jamaica and the Caribbean as such, you find that many small farmers comes out of what um, displacement of, of their uh, after um, after after the abolition of slavery in, in 1838. So most of them were located just small lots, the hillside areas of the, of the island. Now, kind of being one of them, and the the problems which are they have faced historically, we know them in terms of farming process. The land is so small for them; the, the lot sizes are so small, probably less than one hectare, averagely for for a small farm. And the, so it is not a pretty history, but um, the, we have inherited this legacy which we are still hanging on up to this moment. Yes, um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about the local government structure which basically uh, shows the linkage between the whole structure of uh, governance from the top. Here we have uh, the vertical integration, which starts from the central government, and also down there we have on the red, uh, we have the, what you might call horizontal linkages at the local level. Um, most of the decision making here are done from the top. Um, and it is from the central the central government, as we we might be aware, it uh, controls most of the funding, and therefore the resources which the local government at the bottom uh, uses emanates from the the centre, and therefore the decision making process, although we might have that uh, horizontal uh, decision making process down there, but still so long as most the resources are controlled by the central government. Uh, they have they have the upper say, uh, but there have been a lot of initiatives, a lot of initiatives, um, particularly at the at the at the grassroots, um, in terms of enhancing this collaboration to stimulate uh, uh, agricultural productivity. And they generally, as a whole, rural development. Um, so there you have major players. For example, the Jamaica Agricultural Society, the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, which or both of them, which are basically tied to the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. And then we have the Social Development Commission. The and on municipal cooperation, we are planning the planning of the parish, uh, land use planning, basically centered. Uh, and then we have the parish development committee, which is part of the arm of the what of the of the of the local government initiative. Um, these agencies play a major role in many respects to ensure that the grassroots uh, development perspective is already is well felt. But of course, there will be a lot of challenges as we are going to see. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the community-driven uh, initiatives for strengthening the food systems, the parish of Crandon. Although we have these the, uh, agencies, which I have already spoken about in brief, um, the success 
of small farmers cannot come without uh, um, the initiatives themselves. It, it, it seems, or oh, well, right, so to speak, uh, small farmers are extremely resilient. And generally, rural people are very, very resilient. And they have a lot of uh, innovative ideas on how to sustain their livelihoods. For example, here, um, this is an added, pro uh, added, added value product for farmers who are growing peas uh, or beans in Jamaica, in Clarendon. Uh, so they, they established what you call the Central Jamaica Social Movement Initiative, where they have agro, they established the agro processing and red pea, red peas expansion. So on the picture, you can see how they have packaged their, their peas, red peas, and the crying only is on the label of that, of that, uh, of these packages, although we can't see them, but if you go to the supermarket, you can, you can attest by, by, by this example. And then you, another example is the Frankfield Primary and the Infant Parent Teachers Association, where they have a greenhouse farming. These are just uh, two examples, but I'm sure there are several initiatives which have been done by uh, different groupings uh, in rural Clarendon to stimulate their, 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 their incomes through value-added uh, uh, produces and therefore improving their livelihoods as, as, as such. In addition to that, there are several policy initiatives which are being pursued by the parish for initiate, initiating or strengthening the food system. These are some of the policy initiatives um, which are done. As we saw earlier on, we, some of, we, we demonstrated the, 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 some of the agencies which work hand in hand with local farmers in various aspects. Foremost is RADA through their extension officers. RADA headquarters is, is headquartered in Kingston, but it is decentralized. Each parish has an office, and each office has a number of what, extension officers. So in this particular instance, we have Crandon. We have several extension officers in the parish of Crandon. We work hand in hand with farmers on a, on a daily basis particularly on training program, training program, and um, training program which in various ways, for example, in terms of uh, appropriate agricultural practices based on climate change issues, uh, home economics, and all other initiatives. So RADA has a variety of uh, approaches on how to improve the lives of, of small farmers uh, in the parish. Um, also, we have the investment in agriculture in terms of infrastructure. In this particular instance, is agro-parks. Agro-parks uh, is, is, is a concept uh, which basically, which is supposed to run through all parishes to stimulate agricultural development. And, um, the targeting mainly the um, small and medium farmers, yeah, and um, by providing them adequate infrastructure, for example, for example, irrigation, access roads, and uh, work hand in hand closely with the agencies, particularly RADA, to ensure that the investment which is being put in, in, in the agro parks really bear, bear uh, uh, desired results. 
and this experiment has been working very well in terms of crime and, and the, the, the applications from several people who, are, who want to join the agro parks, not only small farmers but also the professionals, is immense. Yeah, and in fact, you, it, it is attracting even students who are now graduating with the degrees. They want to join the agro parks. I've attested this already from our our programs at UTEC. But it is a matter of of of, of what of providing them that kind of opportunity. Uh, and then we have the local development support program, which provides grants to small and medium enterprises. And uh, Crying on Youth and Business Program. So um, this particular uh, agency um, provides a lot of support, um, not only on, on small scale um, agricultural undertaking, but also it ventures on the medium sized uh, activities as related to agriculture and the other activities within the, the rural sector. As we know, agriculture is, is a composite sector, so we cannot only simply deal with the agriculture alone, but also with other activities. And because all of them are complementary, and they are, they are therefore their survival in terms of farming. Uh, farming will also depend on other activities because money accrued from other activities might be invested on farming and vice versa. So that provides kind of a sustainable system of, of what, uh, of, 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 of agro system as we, as we say it. And then we have other initiative, for example, the Clarendon Local Sustainable Development Plan. Yeah, this plan is very, 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 very important. And it, it, demonstrate, it, it, it demonstrates the um, a local based initiative can, which can be emulated by other parishes. Um, so it requires a lot of support. I think this is uh, where um, both the government and private sectors should put a lot of uh, effort in terms of resources. And uh, eventually I think, uh, and by involving all the stakeholders, particularly local farmers, um, so that the productivity of their farming process can be enhanced further. Other agencies are the 4-H Club, which basically um, targets uh, high school students in terms of farming, livestock husbandry, um, agro-processing, agro-processing, and all other activities. In conjunction, of course, with the, the Social Development Commission and the, the Jamaica um, Social Investment Fund and the Jamaica Agricultural Society. So, what are the lessons and the opportunities for future transformation of, of this parish? Crandon has a lot of challenges. As I said earlier on, it is a microcosm of the rest of Jamaica. And it can, it is a platform where, whereby we, we can learn a lot in terms of challenges and the lessons. First of all, there are other things, for example, the weather events, the climatic situation, which, um, as we can see in the, the on, on that picture on your, on your right, the flooding which occurred on Bog Hall, Northern Clarendon. This, I think this was not a, 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 a result of hurricane, just a flash flood, but you can see how it, devastation happened, right? And then we have flooding. Well, we have poor irrigation system. We have, of course, storm and the hurricane is, a, is, is, is is a more or less a given aspect on a yearly basis. And we have poor infrastructure. Farmers don't have 
appropriate insurance to mitigate against hazard. I know there is a program, Caribbean program called CRIF, but it has to filter well to the local level where the small farmers can feel the impact of, of this kind of insurance. I know there have been a lot of complaints, but I think uh, the policy maker, makers at the top, they need to rectify this kind of situation so that small farmers can best um, benefit from these initiatives. Um, we have lack of markets, but again, because of the myriads of problems associated with small farming, um, again, the, at times we don't have adequate uh, producers to support the market, so it is vice versa. Another big problem is transport, uh, transportation and the infrastructure. The roads, access roads, some of them lead to nowhere. They had been abandoned. If you go across the island now, this in particular instance, this is an abandoned road from Spalding going to northern northern Clarendon. This is an abandoned road which used to uh, support the farmers. So without having these uh, roads, access roads, it means farmers cannot uh, transport their produce uh, adequately, and therefore it hampers productivity as such, and therefore brings a lot of problems in terms of um, well, we can have multiplier effects in terms of uh, uh, adequate uh, full uh, agricultural produces, which will impact also in uh, uh, the cost of, of, of food which we buy at the market, uh, May Pen and the other stocks are across the, across the parish. We also have a problem of storage facilities to, to increase the shelf life of some of, 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 of food. From the from the farm to the to the market, um, this is a rampant problem, and um, I can't tell you how we can do it. But um, Rada and the other associated agencies needs to step up and they look at the the, the best op, the, the best alternative to, to to ensure that there there is a adequate fac, uh, facilities for for storage to improve the shelf life of, of the produce. Lack, and also we have lack of, yeah, lack of steady markets here, but as I said, it's vice versa. At times we don't have ad adequate produce because of the vagaries of, of problems, like for example, nature, hurricane, flooding, and all that. And uh, even, so in that sense, we can't have that hampers the, the contracts by the farmers to have contracts with the large hotels in terms of food supplies. Therefore, hotels will always go outside the country to get the food, food supply other than relying on local produces because there is no adequate market for that matter. Other problems are, we all know, it's rural to urban migration. With these problems, we mainly, uh, young people, the youthful population, tend to migrate to the urban areas. We have theft, which is predial lesson in, in Jamaican terminology for civic, uh, still uh, agricultural produces and, uh, and also livestock. And this basically discourages uh, a lot of many farmers from, or from, from what, from, 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 from consistently getting involved in farming. Uh, and also a limited credit for domestic produces. Every reliance on chemical applications that is a major, major problem. Yeah, so rather uh, might require to consistently uh, teach farmers on how to handle those kind of situations for food safety. And of course, polluting the environment from results from that, particularly water resources. Uh, 
cost of lease of land, lack of titles that must be dealt with in uh, National Land Agency must deal with that situation appropriately. The lack of local government capacity is also a major issue. We have few planners really which can, who deals with the, the entire spectrum of the parish. So we need to beef up and employ more planners in this. We produce a lot of planners at the University of Technology and therefore these, uh, the capacity must be improved and the resource allocation be available. Yeah, the issue of cooperatives is very important because of the, um, this kind of disintegrated productive aspect, farmers needs requires, requires to be more, we have to build a lot of cooperative initiative. The challenges in terms of liberalization of food market yeah. The price setting and the ab ab abundance of imported food stuff, which are cheaper than the local produces, that is the major challenges for sustaining uh, the local uh, sustainable food, food systems. And apparently, apparently, food. The government gives more credit for subsidized credit for foods, apparently for foods which are imported, like rice, but not yam, yams or sweet potatoes, which are basically locally produced. We need to have diversification, diversification of, of income. It's like that point I spoke in it earlier with value added agro products. As you can see, some of these initiatives which are done by by local 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 people, right? From your right, on your right. And we have PECAM Community Development Committee, which produces bamboo produces products and opportunities for entrepreneurial activities. This kind of mix is very important in order to sustain the, the food systems. Because as I said, agriculture is complementary. These are some of the opportunities again. Um, in addition to, we need to facilitate access to land and land, land ownership. This is an ongoing struggle for many years, but the government needs to speed up this process to become a good reality. Inf investment in terms of infrastructure, market visibility needs to be improved. And the land use planning in terms of enforcement, in terms of uh, uh, land being eaten by, by housing particularly. We need to save the land for, for agriculture. And the, another point is sustainable. We have to establish sustainable farmers cooperatives to, in order to increase the economies of scale of production. Urban rural linkages is important, as you said, infrastructure and also the viability of the urban centers to stimulate uh, uh, agricultural production in the, in the rural areas. And also multi-sectoral linkages in terms of other sectors should come into play because this is a sector which requires uh, uh, amalgamation of other sectors. It is a composite sector. So agriculture by itself won't, be, won't thrive without include, including others. Um, we have People are resilient, farmers are so resilient, but they need opportunity. They have the, as you have demonstrated, they require um, um, proactive engagement by all stakeholders, central government, local government, and grassroots uh, initiatives. But as you, have, you are seeing the quote, those who have the ability never get the opportunity. So we must end this cycle of what, of, of problem and uh, stimulate what, uh, agricultural productivity. Thank you very much for listening. This concludes webinar number two. Thank you for listening. Our next webinar, webinar number three, will focus on Accra metropolitan area in Ghana. We look forward to having you back with us tomorrow for webinar number three.